Hello, my beautiful besties, and welcome to another reaction. Uh, today, I got a video chosen by um, Paul Dover. It's called um, My Favorite Picture of You, and it's by Guy Clark. Let's go check it out. This is my favorite picture of my wife, Susanna. Me and Towns were in that house, drunk on our ass, being totally obnoxious, you know, and just she'd finally had enough and just said, fuck you guys, I'm leaving. And I think John Lomax was outside and he took that picture of her. And for some reason, that has always been my favorite picture. A new so a songwriter I had not met before came over named Gordy Sampson. And he had written that idea down, my favorite picture of you. And I saw it and I read it here, he said it, and I immediately snapped to that photograph because it was pinned to my wall right over there. It was just like, man, I know this whole song. I know how this song goes, you know. My favorite picture of you is the one where you stare and straight into the lens. It's just a Polaroid shot someone took on the spot, no beginning, no end. It's just a moment in time you can't add back. But your bags were packed Just in case My favorite picture of you Is bent and it's faded And it's pinned to my wall Oh, and you were so angry It's hard to believe We were lovers at all There's a fire in your eyes You've got your heart on your sleeve Curse on your lips But all I can see is beautiful Well, I can see the sentiments behind um, the song uh, I mean, he's, he's laid all the facts on the line You know, so uh, no arguments about that And maybe that's why, you know, his voice is so emotional You know, because I, can, I think in his voice you can hear that. Um, this is more than a song to him. You could, you could feel the emotion, almost like his voice was almost breaking up. Um, I'm not sure if it's better for me to have like heard the studio version or this version. Um, I don't know. But uh, in terms of the emotion it portrays to see how much this means to him, I guess this is better for me to like listen to. But I think if I was like looking for uh, technical perfection I would have preferred to listen to the uh, studio version as a first uh, introduction to this song uh, I hope that's making sense but um, like I said I like the sentiments um, it could it could be something that um anybody could be in that same situation so I think for that reason a lot of people will hear the song and they will instantly connect to it especially if you've been in, in that situation before as well um, so yeah, I like it. I like the guitar playing in particular. Um, I think it brings a kind of like lovely melancholic mood to the song. Um, yeah, let's get some more. I can see is beautiful. My favorite picture of you is the one where your wings are showing. Oh, and your arms are crossed, your fists are clenched, not gone but going. 
just a stand-up angel who won't back down. Nobody's fool, nobody's clown. You were smarter than that. My favorite picture of you is the one where it hasn't rained yet. Oh, and as I recall, came a winter squall, and we got soaking wet. It's funny how how he, he says um that's his favorite picture of her because so far a lot of the things that he's been talking about hasn't painted the the, uh, the wife in a good light. I don't mean that she's a bad person, but I'm just like saying it's not her best moment in temp in the sense that um she was upset, she was angry about something, you know. And I'm thinking, why would that be um you know his favorite picture of her? You know, I'm thinking maybe it should be something like um I remember you when you were like at the beachside laughing or when you were running down the road or something. You know, um I don't know. <laughs> maybe because of, of that moment, um it was a very very like um maybe like a profound moment for him or, or, or turning point in their relationship. I don't know. Maybe that's why it's a favorite part. I, but I just think that, um, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's your relationship. You're allowed to choose any moment you like. So <laughs> let's get some more. <laughs> I recall came a winter squall and we got soaking wet. Is it thousand words in the blink of an eye, the camera loves you, and so do I. Click. My favorite picture of you is the one where you stare and straight into the lens. I was, um, I was kind of like waiting there to see um, what it was going to say after the song, but I, he didn't say much, just said almost. Um, interesting song. Um, like I said, very, very like emotional, you know, for him. I, I think it's a song that really means a lot to him. You can hear that in his voice. You know, um, I, I, th I think um, he was singing there with his heart. You know, um, there was no acting there. It was just like real raw emotions coming from him. And um, yeah, I, I think I might, when I have time, I might go and play the studio version just to hear what it sounds like there. Uh, like I said to you, uh, I, I I think technically I'll get a better performance from that. But um, you never know. Um, then th Maybe then I can compare and see which one I prefer. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if it was your first time here today, thank you for stopping by. Hope you come back again. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a big like for me so that the guys at YouTube can share it to many more people. And I thank you for this. My name is Harry. Stay cool, stay safe out there wherever you are. Most of all, stay beautiful in your heart and soul. And I'll see you all next up. Bye-bye.